Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academic Coordinates. This is a third example we are doing in chemical equilibrium. This example now, guys, is slightly different than the ones that we have done already. We are asked to find the equilibrium concentrations of hydrogen, um, iodine, and um, um, hydrogen iodide right here. We're given a reaction and we're also given the initial concentrations, right? So basically, um, the concentration of hydrogen is actually 1.00 moles per liter. Then this one is 2.00 moles per liter. And then also, these units, right, here can also be written like this or like this. So let's say they write units differently. Let not your heart skip a bit because it's the same thing as I've emphasized that 1 dm cubed is equals to 1 liter. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool, guys. We're also given the value of Kc 51.0 and the temperature there. So how in the world are we going to find the equilibrium concentrations of um, of this um, species right here? Okay, cool. Just take, an, just take note, guys, that now we are given concentrations. We are not given... Um, 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 we are not actually given more, you know, as we were previously, right? So we've got our reaction right here. And then we have got um, the initial concentrations, the change in the concentrations, and then the equilibrium concentrations right here, okay? So usually um, the university students, what dominates there is the ice table, you know, but um, even in, you know, grades 12s, if you're used to the rice table, um, it's more or less the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay. But just take a note, guys, that here we are given concentrations and we are not given more. We are not given moles, you know. So we've got we've got our reaction right here. Okay, that's a huge space, but anyway. Okay, cool. So basically, what are we looking for? We're looking for these concentrations. This is the equilibrium concentrations. You know what I'm saying? Remember, when we're actually dealing with... Um, um, the previous examples, we had one E for mole and another E for equilibrium, equilibrium concentration. But here, this E is for equilibrium concentration. So basically, our R, our equation must be balanced, guys. That is very much important. Very important. And also, I forgot to put the phase right here. Okay, cool. And also, as I've stated that, if the, the you've got a phase that is a liquid, right, um, um, or you've got solid, those will not be included in the equilibrium expression, in the KC expression. Okay, so to balance this equation, we've got two hydrogens here, one here, so we're going to put a two right here. So our equation is balanced. Okay, cool. So basically, here we've got H2 and I2. These are our reactants. Then our product is HI. Okay, cool, guys. So initially, we're given the concentration of hydrogen, which is 1.00. Just take note that this is concentration, right? And then for uh, for for iodine right here, it's actually two point zero zero. You know, okay. For HI guys, um, at the initial stage, we don't have any product, so this is a zero right here. Okay, cool. Let me just put that two here. So as the reaction progresses, right? Um, the reactants are actually reacting to actually form our product. You know what I'm saying? So there's going to be a decrease right here in the reactant side. And then on the product, there's going to be an increase. You know, that's why you've got a negative here and a positive right here. Okay, cool. So now we don't know exactly what is changing. So we're going to put um, the coefficient of H2, right? The balancing coefficient is 1. So it's 1 here, right? So it's 1x. So it's minus 1x here. It's also 1x. But here now, um, the balancing coefficient there, it's 2. So it's going to be 2x. So now our equilibrium concentration, guys, you know, we're going to add this 2. So it's 1 minus x, right? Then this one, what is it going to be? 2 minus um, x. And then this one is going to be 0 plus 2x is going to be 2x. Okay, here I was supposed to put the 1.00 minus x, 2.00 minus x, but... Um, if you were not taught significant figures, you know, you don't have to worry about that. But anyway, you can just put everything that you actually are given right there. Okay, guys. So now we are actually ready to find our KC. What is our KC? KC is equals to what? The concentration of your product. 
at equilibrium guys and the concentration of your reactant you know okay cool so now we don't have values but we have got the axes and then we are like what in the world is going on you know so we are actually going to be solving for x like nobody's business okay guys and also just note that it doesn't have to be an x here we are just using an x as a variable it can be a y you know it can be um any other you know letter right but um the x is just because of we are used to to axes and all those things you know what i'm saying so basically you want to find these concentrations this is what we are looking for right but now we cannot say our concentration is 1 minus x. So you need to solve for x so that we can actually find the full thing right there. Okay, so basically what is the value of Kc? Kc is 51.0, right? Equals to what, guys? The product. So our product is um, hi, right? So, so it's going to be hi, but now raised to the second power because there is a 2 right here. Divide by... Um, um h2 right there h2 to the power of what to the power of one because of there is a one in front of it and then times i2 to the power of one and also this one right here we don't usually put it but um if it will by any means assist you guys you know to i don't know sleep at night please just put it there so that you can be comfortable okay cool so let me just continue here um Okay, guys, so it's 51.0 is equals to, what is hi? hi is 2x, which you just want to put the whole thing there, 2x, div, sorry, 2x squared, right? So you're going to divide by, what is h2? h2 is this one, 1 minus x, you know? And please, guys, um, just take a chill pill, you know, just calm down when you get here and, um, yeah, so it's 2.00 minus x, right? So you're going to continue now with your thing, you know? So you are actually looking for x, guys, you know? So you can just multiply everywhere now with this thing. So it's 51.0 multiplied by the entire um, denominator here, 1 minus x multiplied by... Okay, let me just put a 2 um, minus x right here. Is equals to what is equals to 2x squared 2x squared you see okay now you continue um you're gonna get 51.0 multiplied by 1 times 2 it's 2 1 times x it's negative x okay let me just take it step by step 1 times 2 it's a 2 1 times negative x is it's um negative x right here and then 1 so the negative x times 2, it's negative 2x. And then negative x times negative x, it's plus x squared. You know what I'm saying? Then this is 2x. Sorry, this is not um, 2x squared, but it's actually going to be 4x squared. Sorry about that, guys. Um, because we are squaring the entire thing, right? here. So 2 is squared and x is squared. So it's 4x squared. Sorry about that. 4x squared. Okay, cool. So we continue um, 51.0 into 2 minus x minus 2x is minus 3x, right? Plus x squared is equals to 4x squared. Okay, guys, let me just continue on this page. All right, all right, all right. So now we're just going to multiply by 51. 51.0 times 2, that's going to be 102. Yes, 102, right? Yeah, 102. So 51 times 3, right here. What is it? It's going to be a negative 153x. Then 51.0 times x squared is going to be plus 51. You can put a point zero, um, you know, Okay, 51.0x squared is equal to 4x squared. Okay, cool. So now you are going to get a quadratic equation. You know what I'm saying? So we can take x the other side and take this guys the other side. So if we take x this side, okay, let me just do it step by step. 51, let's just say 51x squared minus 4x squared. We just took this one this side is equals to, um, okay, no, sorry. Uh, plus 102 minus 
153x is equal to 0. Okay, guys, let's just sort this thing out. 51, right, uh, minus uh, 4 um, x, right? So 51 minus 4, what is that? Is it 47? 47 x squared, right? Okay, cool. Um, um, so now we've got minus 153x, then plus 102 is equals to what? Is equals to 0. Okay, cool, guys. So at this point in time, um, this looks, this does not look one of, like one of those friendly, you know, uh, factorization stuff that we normally do, you know. So we're going to use our old time favorite. Um, let me just put it our old time favorite um, quadratic formula. So x is equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac divided by 2a. Okay, cool. So basically, this is our a, this is our b, this is our c. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys. At this point in time, um, we are actually going to... Okay, this is our A, then negative 153, the entire thing is our B, then this one is our C. So, we're going to substitute. So, X is equals to, can you see what I'm writing? Okay, cool. So, it's minus, minus 153, um, plus or minus the square root of, uh, minus 153, B squared, minus 4, what is A, 47, what is C102? Okay, cool, guys. Divide by 2 times, what is A47? Okay, cool. So let's just calculate the value of X right here. And mind you, we're going to get two values, you know. So this is um, minus, minus 153, right? Let's just start with a plus plus minus 153 all squared minus 4 into a what is a a is 47 times c what is c c is 102 um divide by 2 times what is a a is 47 and then okay cool guys we got we get a value of 2 right there so we get a value of 2.31 9803291. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So, so this is our first x. Let us check our second x. Um negative right there. So for our second x, this is x1. Then for x2, we get 0 0.93551. Um, um Five five one five eight five seven nine. Okay, guys. So basically, we got our axis. We've got this one. Then we've got this one. Then we are like, what in the world is gonna happen? You know, because we need to choose one x right here. So let's check. Mind you, we cannot have a negative concentration, right? So the concentration at equilibrium of hydrogen is one minus x. Ne? So Basically, if you put this value of x here, we're going to get a negative value here. So this one, we're not going to consider, but we're going to consider this value of x. So this is 1 minus, let's say, 0 0.935, you know. Okay, let's say 9.36, you know. Okay, um, and then we're going to round. Okay, let's just use the entire value. So it's 1 minus this answer. So we got 0 0.064. So we're at the last part now, 6.45, right? More per liter. Then for the second one, um, I2 is equals to 2 minus x, that is 2 minus 0 0.936. Okay, guys, just take a note of your, you know, your decimal places and sig figs and everything. So it's 2 minus 0 0.936. Um, okay, let me see what did I do. Okay, cool. 
so here we got 1.064 mole per liter then lastly for hi hi these are concentrations at equilibrium guys you know so this is uh, there look we look here right we look here right those so because this those are the equilibrium concentrations and so this is 2 times x, so 2 times 0 0.936. This is equals to, so 2 times 0 0.936, this equals to um, 1.87, right, moles per liter. So these are our equilibrium concentrations right here, you know. So yes, guys. I'm sure for this question, they might, you know, give you quite a lot of marks because of the steps you took. And also applying all of these things and solving for X is actually very much significant. All right, guys, do stay blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you've got any questions, please comment below and I'll be glad to assist you guys. Stay blessed.